is October Favorite Things Day. Today I will be sharing all of my favorite things for the month of October. guys I'm Kristen and welcome to the gold project if you are new here welcome we hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos I post videos at least three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and on this channel we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together so I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission if you've never seen one of these videos before the way I do it is I narrow my list down to my six favorite things from the past month anything is game planners organizing beauty TV shows you name it I can share it in one of these videos so I'm gonna get right into it I'm not gonna ramble on with this intro and we're gonna start with my first favorite thing from this month and we're gonna talk about Dawn and here's the thing I've used Dawn off and on for many many years but I've ke I've kept trying all of these different soaps and then I'll go back to Dawn and I'll try different soaps and let's be honest nothing beats this right here the original and I don't know you guys can let me know in the comments below if you try a different Dawn like Dawn has many different ones this is the original the one that has the ducks that claims that it gets the oil off the ducks do the others do that as well? Is it the same formula in a different scent? If you know, leave that in the comments below because I'm really curious about that. But this stuff works. I not only use it for dishes, to hand wash dishes, I also use it to get stains off of clothes. And you guys, it gets 99% of the stains off of clothing. And you might wonder how I do that. All I do is I take this and the spot, I just douse the spot with it, rub it in, let it sit, and then wash like normal. And it gets 99% of the things out of the clothes that I have. Also, I use this as my cleaner. I've not found anything better cleaning my bathtubs and my sinks than the Dawn and Vinegar mixture. Now, after I shared my last Clean With Me video, if you've not seen that, I will link that in a card above where I use the Dawn and the vinegar mixture. I had a lot of questions about it. You guys, I don't measure. I just pour the vinegar in there and I do a couple squirts of this, shake it up and use it. That is it. There's really no measuring. So you're not gonna need nearly as much of this as you do the vinegar. So just be like a few drops of this. I use it until it turns a light blue. If that makes sense I don't put water in it it's straight vinegar and Dawn this gets the soap scum off of my tub I have not found anything else to get soap scum off my tub but the mixture of Dawn and vinegar so those of you that have tried it have said it worked for you too so if you've not tried it at least give it a shot and see if it works but it has worked wonders for me my second favorite thing for the month of October is a skillet we're gonna talk about a skillet now you all know I've talked about cast iron many times over the last i want to say two years and i'm talking about a specific cast iron skillet today and i've had people ask me can you do a video on how you cook with cast iron you guys i am not a professional cook i don't really know how to cook so there's really nothing special i do the only thing is you don't use soap on these so I have a little scrubber that I got from Grove Collaborative and I will just run hot water over it. I will use the scrubber to clean it and then that's it. And make sure that you dry it off immediately. It's got to be fully dry before you store it. If not, you will see rust stains on it. I've made the mistake of leaving a little bit of drops on there in the past and I've had to deal with the rust. So this is i don't know exactly what they call this one i will link it in the um description below 
and some of them might be referral links which means if you click a link and make a purchase i make a small commission off the sale but it does not affect the price for you at all so we got this particular skillet i'm gonna say it's a flat iron skillet that's what i'm gonna call it i don't know if that's the name it will be in the description this came with our set of cast iron that we got I don't I think it was last year from my mother-in-law it came with a set of four and a lid I think I think we got four pots and a lid we got it from Walmart and y'all this is all we cook on this is amazing for grilled cheeses pancakes anything that you need to flip this is fantastic for that. So when we got this in the set last Christmas, I'm like, what am I going to use that for? But it's great. And the great thing about cast iron is it cooks your food evenly. So none of that burning and ruining the first pancake. Y'all know the first pancake normally turns out horrible. Or for me it does. But this no more ruining the first pancake. So this is amazing for things like that. Paninis, grilled sandwiches, pancakes, anything that you need to flip. Highly recommend this and it is affordable. And my third favorite thing for the month of October is something that I feel like y'all have been holding back from me because when I purchased it and I shared it on Instagram, I had an overwhelming number of you guys say, well, that's the only bronzer I use. Have you tried the blush? I love that line of cosmetics. And I'm like, why did these people not tell me this like a year ago when I was buying the Too Faced bronzer? So... What am I talking about? I am talking about the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. So this is just the color bronzer. I think it comes from Walmart. I want to say they had four different colors. But this is what it comes. This is what it looks like. So this is not the lightest. I want to say the lightest is called Light Bronzer or something. So this is what it looks like. And then it's got the little brush. You can tell I don't use the brush. I have a Real Techniques brush that I use to apply it. But this is fantastic and I'm now, I'm now changed. I won't buy the Too Faced bronzer anymore. And it smells fantastic. It smells like, it smells like the beach, like tropical paradise. Seriously, like the little tropical trees on the front is exactly what it smells like to me. So why did I decide to try this bronzer here? Because I was using for the past two or three years the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And here's the thing. I'm trying to pinch pennies where I can pinch pennies. And last month I finally completely used the whole thing. I'm one of those people that I am going to like take a brush and chomp the product inside of it to use every ounce in the pan. So I ended up using every ounce in the pan and I didn't want to pay like $35 for bronzer. I'm like, that's really not in my budget right now. They're not having a sale. So of course I went to the internet to find a um, alternative and somehow I ran across the physician's formula and it is gluten free. Even though they say gluten does not affect the skin and it can't go through your pores, my face doesn't like it. Like I've used eyeshadow before with gluten in it and my eyelid is bumped up. So I have to make sure my cosmetics are gluten free and this is. So you guys, it applies so smoothly. I mean, really smooth. It makes my whole face look even out. Doesn't have an orange um, look to it. I'm very pale anyways. This works perfect in the bronzer color. Now, this was $12.88 from my Walmart. Target has it. Walmart has it. I'm not sure what other retailers have it, but it's affordable and it works and it's gluten free. I am all about a budget. If I don't have to spend $30 for some kind of cosmetic, I am not going to do it because you guys, I really would not wear makeup if I didn't have to. But I feel like it might be a tad bit scary if I didn't wear makeup every day for my students, so I do. So, I can't rave about this enough and I'm next going to try the blush because you guys have raved about it so much that now I'm convinced that I need to try the blush because this is so smooth on the skin and I just love it. So, 
thank you so much for recommending the blush as well. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. My fourth favorite thing for the month of October is a food item. And it's one that I don't have with me because I ate them all. Seriously, we have to get them every single week. So, what am I talking about? Pop chips. You guys, I was in search of some type of snack because I don't like regular chips, like plain Lay's are way too salty for me. So after I eat the yellow bag Lay's or any Lay's like that, I almost start feeling like my hands are swollen and my feet are swelling. And I think it's because all of the salt that's in the chips. So I try not to eat those unless I'm somewhere and that's my only option. So somehow I ran into these down an aisle at Walmart. Decided to try them. They had a big bag of the individual packs as well as just a large bag. And I tried them and I loved them. So the variety pack, I think you get three of the sea salt and then three of the barbecue. I love both of them. So I can't rave about them enough. I've actually been eating them as a snack at work. I've been having some stomach issues and some of the things that I was eating, my stomach is now reacting to. So I can't eat those things anymore. Specifically, I'm thinking black beans and raspberries. My stomach now does not like. Oh, it was a two long weeks of determining what was causing my horrible cramps and issues. So I'm thinking those two things are to blame because I don't have any issues anymore. Thank goodness. So I've started eating these and I love them. It's got the crisp, but it's not as fattening and as heavy as other chips. And I will tell you they weren't with the all the regular chips like the Doritos and the Lay's. They were actually down the side that had all the healthier chips like the pita chips and all of the pop corns and all of that so if you can't find it down the normal section the normal chip aisle look in that section that's with the popcorn and all of that because that is where i found mine but if you're looking for a good snack that's got a tad bit of salt but it's not too heavy definitely try these pop chips my fifth favorite thing for the month of October is a laundry item. And let me give you a backstory because you know I always have a backstory. I try to make it short, but we'll see. So, my husband is a football coach, for those of you that do not know. So, he comes home with clothes pretty stinky every single day that he has practice, which is every single day. And we have tried everything. The Downy Unstoppables, I did not like those. I felt like they left residue and just laid heavy on the clothes. And I felt like they weren't clean after he used them. I mean, I tried the vinegar. I tried several different things and could not fully get the odor out of his clothes. So he decided to add the Clorox 2 for colors with stain remover and color brightener to our grocery pickup one month. And I'm like, oh my goodness, where has this product been? This gets all of the football stench out of the clothes. No joke. So I am going to continuously buy this now. So if you have kids that play sports and have stinky socks and stinky clothes, or if you have coaches as husbands or if you just got stinky clothes, I highly recommend this Clorox 2 for colors. Now, I want to say it was about $8, which is kind of like for me as not my main detergent. I was kind of like, do I really want to try that? I already have detergent that's like $12. Do I really want to pay the $8 or $9 for the extra additive? I'm telling you, it is worth it. And all you do is, like I have the little compartment at the top of my washing machine where I put my laundry detergent. So I put my laundry detergent in that little spot. I take the little cup off the top. I measure it out like it has on the inside. And then I just add that to the same little cup at the top and that's it. So you just add this after you de your detergent in that little spot and that's it. And it makes our clothes smell fantastic. So highly recommend this. Definitely want to talk about it because I know there's probably many of you out there that have stinky clothes at your house and you cannot figure out how to get the stench out of the clothes. So definitely try this. Let me know what you think as well. My sixth 
and final thing for the month of October is going to be a channel. I'm going to say Facebook Watch. I think that's what they call it. It is a whole new thing for me. It's basically like YouTube on Facebook. So Facebook does have a video option now. So what I have been so into lately is Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith her mom, and her daughter, Willow. This has been, I'm so glad that for some reason I stumbled upon this. Y'all know I've talked about this before. I am a huge fan of Will Smith. He is one of my favorite actors. He has been one of my favorite actors since I was in high school. And I think I watched Men in Black for the first time. So I started watching this and they kind of reeled me on in. They talk about those difficult topics that a lot of us don't talk about, but they address it on their show. They've talked about parenting. They've talked about interracial dating and interracial marriages. They've talked about um, being white and having a, a black child. They had Kristen Davis on there that was talking about her two adopted children that are African American. And I mean, everything white privilege. They have talked about, they had Alicia Keys on there two weeks ago, you guys. And I mean, she just totally opened up. She was raw. It was, I saw a whole different person in those 25 minutes that they were talking to her. So it's really opened me up. And you know, sometimes I feel like for me, I'm in a little bubble. I'm in education and you know I don't watch a lot of news and I don't sometimes know of all of the issues that go on in our country not because I don't care but because for some reason I'm not around it and I'm not in it so I've started watching this and you know some of the episodes are really difficult for me to watch kind of like when they talked about white privilege in several different um, segments and it's hard to watch, but I feel so good after watching it and so positive. And it's, I just feel like that they are doing wonderful things with this show. So they are on their second season and I think it's every Monday they have a new episode. So definitely tune in and check out Red Table Talk. So those are my six favorite things for the month of October. I hope you've enjoyed my whole list of favorites this month. And if you're interested in any of those, definitely check the description below. Remember, some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So the common question for today is going to be, Tell me some of your favorite things. Have, is there some kind of product or some kind of show or something like that that you have watched or tried and you absolutely love and want to share with us? So definitely let's talk about that in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.